Welcome to Pro Tools Expert, my name's Dan Cooper. Now, have you ever struggled to get interesting chord progressions in your music, let's say in the early stages of songwriting? Now, I know I have, and it's a pain, because it really does stop your creative juices flowing. Now, this Scalar by Loop Masters is a very cool tool that can help you get some new and interesting ideas in your music. Now, I've done a video on this before, you can check that out by clicking the link in the description or the card at the top right of the screen. And I just gave you a quick overview of what this plugin can do for you. Uh, and in this video, I'm just going to extend on that a little bit and show you some new features in this being Scalar 1.5. So what is Scalar? Well, Scalar is a chord detection and chord suggestion tool. And if you did see that previous video, you're probably looking at this going, that's a different plugin. Well, it's not. I've just got this in a different mode. Go to settings up here. You can change the skin to be in light mode, which it's in now or dark mode. I'm just going to keep it in light mode for this video. And the keyboard at the top here, we can change this to the new fretboard view, which is quite nice if you are a guitarist and this looks more familiar to you than, let's say, a keyboard. Now I've got a MIDI keyboard plugged in to my computer here. And as you see, play some notes on that keyboard. Displays it on the fretboard at the top there, as you would expect. And if we hold down, let's say, a triad, it will show you in this grey box at the top there what notes you're holding down and the chord that's made up of those notes. Which is nice. Now in the previous video, I showed you how we can use this to detect chords and find other chords that work with those chords and scales, of course. But I wanna show you a much quicker way of getting chord ideas down. And it's under this artist tab here. There are a wealth of pre-made built-in chord structures to get you going. Let's just go with this one. And we can just click these. And it auditions the chords. Very nice. But clicking the chords with the mouse isn't really a great way to interact with the music. So at the top right, we've got this bind MIDI feature. And you'll notice A, B, and C below that there. These set the MIDI bind to A, which is this section here, B, and C. I'm just going to work in this section here, A. Hit A. And now I'm going to go over to my MIDI keyboards. And I can audition each of those chords, starting on C. For instance, there, playing the A flat playing the D on the keyboard, getting the G minor seventh. And I can audition these with a bit of rhythm, for instance. Change the uh, structure myself there. It feels more like a performance doing it this way. Very nice. Now a new feature in Scalar 1.5 is the ability to change the sound within the instrument. So we can go to, let's say, an acoustic guitar. Let's do that again quickly over here on the keyboard. Sounds all right, but we can do so much better here in Scalar. Let's hit strumming. Again, new feature. We can change the speed of the strumming here. Let's put it to fast. nice that's giving me some good ideas for a song that but i don't know which style let's try it on an arpeggiator let's change the sound let's go for a synth just the timing very cool indeed now you notice you've got all these tool tips all over the ui it's worth keeping them on they really do help sort of walk you through the process just going to put this back onto acoustic guitar and I'm going to drag these down to the bottom here where we can build the progression. And I like these first three chords the most. Just going to set the bind MIDI to C now because we're working in this section. As you can see, C. There you go. And you can see those chords highlight with a black ring around them when I'm triggering them on the keyboard. And we can do a few things over here as well, which is quite nice. So we can right click, we can edit the chord, which is nice. We can do it on the fretboard at the top here. Again, if you're used to working on the guitar and this is more familiar to you, work on that. Or you can switch across to the keyboard and you can remove and add notes here. Audition again by clicking the chord. 
These grey notes here, that just stands for the bind MIDI, which you can turn off if you want to uh, clear up your display a little bit. You can change the inversion, which is nice, very easy to do. Octave. be honest you're only ever limited by your imagination with this and if your imagination is limited you want to reach for this so it's such a great great tool worth playing around with especially if you're a songwriter especially if you are the sort of songwriter that starts their songwriting process in the uh, digital domain in a DAW for more information do check out Plugin Boutique and uh, yeah, it's worth mentioning that Scada 1.5 does have quite a few other new features I just felt as though the ones I showed you in this video were the ones that stood out to me the most and the ones that I think will benefit you guys the most out there in your creative worlds. Anyway, I hope you guys got something from this. I'm Dan from Pro Tools Expert and I'll see you again soon.